It is Wednesday, always incredibly exciting day on oil. So, what is so fascinating about this Wednesday? What is so different? Once again, we learned this morning that we have two and a half times as much oil as we need. So, anybody who trades oil would know that common sense oil would collapse in price if we have that much oil. But here's a spectacular, magnificent rally since the news release, reminding you the power of price structures. Price was clearly very powerful bullish trend. My initial attempt to catch short to the downside was not very successful. My first effort did not work out, but this is my second one. This is what I waited for. This is when I expect my fundamentals to kick in. And here's my cutie fruity short, because I know better what to expect when price reaches danger zone. Enjoy the ride. Stop at break even. Danger zone levels are my trade exhaustion levels. I am monitoring for reversal, because formula remains the same. As my long trade found the exhaustion, at this area, I expect my trade to reverse from danger zone. The dance is still on, but I'm seeing confirmation on multiple other time frames that sellers are here. Fundamentals are finally kicking. But from the time of news release at 10.30, oil was at 102 area, and oil flew roughly 170 ticks reminding you that price will always override the news. So here it is, I'm monitoring this trade very, very carefully, and I'm seeing that I may be taking this trade on multiple other time frames. That simple, that pure. If you know where danger zone levels are, you know what not to enter into. You know where to expect trend reversals. But this magnificent reminder is the fact that price will always override the news. Just like our adorable long yesterday on S&P at the market open. US government shuts down and we're taking long because price told us so. Simple and pure. So again, danger zone had been reached. And price is finding support. Exact same formula as one hour. So once you learn how to pull with trader method, you decide what's appropriate for you and your account size. What speaks to your psychological comfort? Bigger the time frame, bigger the stops, bigger the targets. What risks appropriate to you and your personal circumstance is the key. And here is an adorable reversal, because this is my trade exhaustion level. 30 ticks to the downside, not to be taken for granted. My stop outside of break even. My trade exhaustion area is reached. That's precisely what happens when this area is hit. That's how critical these levels are, and that's how precise. But formula remains the same. It doesn't matter if it's oil hourly, eight range, or if it's oil monthly. Know your levels. Know what not to enter into. Know where to monitor for reversals.